Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, this is Kelly. Welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into this reading and see what the messages are here playing out here for you. Okay, so palm tree. You have I like you again. And, okay, two healing heart and talking this is kind of like yesterday what the heck's going on um maybe i need to shuffle some more i'm going to pull a couple of more so there is an energy of stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility you've got date meetings whoop did i just did that work okay meeting somebody new Dating, getting back out there, planning, setting a date, healing heart. Someone's interested in you. I feel like you're going to start talking to somebody. This must be like part two from yesterday's reading. How exciting. Okay, let's see. Definitely love. Uh, something new. Somebody new. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wanting to date. Someone's interested, wants to talk more. Okay. A weighted message arrives. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Past life, Virgo. You have known each other before, and this is your soulmate. Okay. So this might feel like a new thing that's starting with someone that you knew before. It doesn't mean you were in a relationship with them before, but it can mean that you, you know them. All right. You definitely know this person. Okay, let's take a look and see if we can find out who it is. Uh, somebody here might have a lot of palm trees where they live as well. There's a healing energy. So you're definitely going to start talking to a soulmate again in August. Let's see. Healing messages. Other messages. Oh, somebody's coming in here wanting to make a change in their life. Okay, Virgo. Wanting to change things around. Wow, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So... Uh, this person is definitely struggling. There's some family conflicts. This person feels tremendously lonely. They may have lost their job or they lost a lot of money. Um, I feel like you've got somebody here um, who's going to try and make some changes. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. This person secretly fantasizes about you. And if you want to know more about that, go over to my OnlyFans. The link is in my community tab and underneath this video. Um, but this person, there might have been some ghosting um, or some unknown energy. I feel like this person, okay, secretly is wishing or secretly has a thing for you, Virgo. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, what's going on here? Let's see if we can try to figure out who this is. We might not be talking to them, or there might have been like a ghosting situation. Um, you might have offered your love to this person, and they declined it in the past. Queen of Cups, first court card, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Okay, there's definitely somebody coming in here with an apology, Virgo. Um, Want to make it up to you? Let me see here. Want to go out on a date? Take you out on a date? They want to talk, get to know you more, or get to know you better, or spend a little more time with you. Okay, death card. Definitely making a transition and changing. Um, hmm. I'm hearing done with all this non-committal nonsense. Okay, that's fine. So let me see what else is going on. Hmm. Okay, Virgo. So, yeah, I feel like there was a lot of defensiveness in this relationship as far as trying to make plans to move something forward. Um, there might have been a King of Wands also in connection, a fire sign, Aries, Libra, or Libra, why did I say Libra? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, a lot of unknowns in a relationship or um, somebody was hiding something or not talking about something here. I can't, all right, hold on a second. Okay, can you see? I hope it's a little bit brighter. Okay, um, yeah, there was a little bit of deception going on here. Someone just didn't know what they wanted, Virgo. I feel like someone here did not know what they wanted, where they were going, 
what they were in you know what they wanted out of life basically but I do feel like somebody here you know they knew or they've always known that you were you know the, their person they've always had that feeling okay but what was going on here why did this person look here's the knight of swords again so I mean this person's pretty serious about making changes um, in their life and um, yeah really magician trying to make something happen here with you um, okay yeah I feel like um, they're hoping you're gonna give them an opportunity maybe again for some of you to um, start something new with them let me see what are you feeling about this okay you feel like it might be an air sign it's just a toxic this person just wants to have some physical pleasure and nothing else but there's like um some kind of pull or hold i feel like there's this addictive kind of thing you know like you guys are just stuck the physical it's a very stressful situation okay um with this person because i feel like they're kind of cold they don't really share their emotions king of swords libra gemini aquarius they don't really share it looks like you're trying to walk away from this here virgo and just let it go okay yeah trying to let it go for sure hmm doesn't look like it's an easy thing for you letting it go i feel like maybe time spent with this person was a bit of a distraction from your grief or any struggles but it looks like you know walking away from that um brings your grief back to the forefront needing to deal with your feelings okay let me see okay there's definitely going to be a risk being taken here though not gonna lie virgo not that i do but for some of you the risk is just to say no and to block something here with this person but why do they why does this person want to come back oh there's the king of wands okay fire sign energy they've been thinking about you virgo and they're yeah they're ready to make a change here this person is 100 percent like ready to do it ready to do it now you know, when I say the, the signs, I mean, they could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, I feel like this person, they kind of look at you like you're, <laughs> like they're good luck rabbit. I don't know what that means, but, you know, they, I feel like this person, they've just had you on their mind a lot. Like, they, they know that you, um, they know that something about you when you were connecting with them let me just see i just have to ask like why did this person not commit before or why were they messing around if they were like what was the deal with this person hmm three of wands oh they're always thinking that maybe someone better or something better would come along which is pretty shitty um definitely with the fool there there is this energy of like childish behavior okay um they weren't ready to kind of like boss up or mature you know i feel like this person just wanted to have fun and they stayed in this like no growth area um they knew maybe they're like a, a father I'm, I'm hearing father someone's father or, or father of someone's kids or a parent but it feels like this person just it looks like always thinking there was going to be something better or something else around the corner that would be better and even with the star um they might have been chasing fame and fortune or you know just trying to be like the the highlight in somebody else's life which you know should have been yours of course but what's making this person change here i mean yeah they know that you are like the star in 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 their dreams oh hmm they're seeing something oh because you don't want them or you're blocking them they're seeing something here about you um that you're not interested wow virgo you're kind of like giving this person you know like sorry 
you can't see me I'm not interested it looks like you're blocking this person and you're just like you've made a decision you're going within doing your own thing you're not interested in the love offer and um, they're kind of spying they think maybe you're with somebody else they definitely know you've ended something here with them definitely and that's making them like you've cut it off it looks like or you will be and now they're kind of like oh shit <laughs> now they're in this energy of like i gotta do something or i should have done something i'm such a fool kicking themselves you know um because nobody else is coming along nobody else is coming along let me see no no one else like no one else compares i can definitely tell you that no one else is comparing let me see what the messages of love are here here and now see your true love is already part of your life this person like they're so stupid at least that's how they feel i'm not saying that they are it's just how they feel because like they had their opportunity they had their chance to jump when they should have jumped and it looks like but it looks like now they're, they're coming back in to try to make something happen here with you um there you go past life love again your soul remembers this person is in love with you virgo yep <laughs> Yep, this is a past life person that wants another chance, you know. Whether you give them another chance or not, some of you have learned the spiritual lesson. You've learned something from this person. You've learned something maybe from this person about your past or about yourself or about another relationship or about this relationship. Yeah. So I kind of feel like, um, let me see. Okay. Old wounds childhood issues need revisiting so some of you are like not trying to go back to someone you're healing you're learning even when an apology comes it might be like just a, like their 10th apology or what have you um but i feel like this person is also healing and they're learning and it's mostly i feel like because with that two of swords that you've kind of you know blocked them or that you're just like you've made a decision or you're making a decision you're not confused you're not indecisive um you're not willing to make a compromise with somebody here you're just done and i think look decision about what another chance in this relationship i think virgo um you may have this relationship deserves a second chance some of you may have given second chances and third chances and on and on and i think you um you don't care about the apology or you're just like thanks but it doesn't matter now you know you're 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 mastering this lesson here even despite the fact that there's chemistry between you and this person um there's mutual attraction you know i feel like a lot of like there's something going on here where you're trying to get your healing and this person is getting their healing as well okay so i'm not sure virgo if you're going to end up with this person or not or it, like in way out in the future but let me see what they could say to you what their feelings their emotions are all right well duh they're so attracted to you that's <laughs> that's pretty obvious that's pretty obvious okay yep I'm becoming a better person i feel like this person's trying and i do feel like it's because you are setting some ground rules or that you're just done with it like that that's really what i feel like the catalyst for change is here why this person is trying to be better they don't want to lose you they know they messed up everything and they lost themselves for a little while they were out wandering or doing whatever they were doing in life and you know now there's nothing going on really so much in life it's just kind of coming to the end of things here in some way i mean it's much harder to like end something and then have to climb up that hill all over again it's it's not that hard to change it really isn't it's just a matter of putting in the effort you know by going out and seeking and trying to find a new can of nuts somewhere <laughs> it's not easy um okay this person realizes you were the best thing in their life they're wondering if you're happy they're saying telling themselves the timing just wasn't right but i feel like they're coming to realize that it had nothing to do with that they do believe you'll be together again but um they know that you're not going to take them back unless they fix their their um 
maybe promiscuous ways or their uh, selfish ways, if they were selfish. doesn't mean like someone has to make you a priority all the time, um, but th they would always be on your mind when it comes to when they have other things to do, that like, you wouldn't be forgotten. Okay, they remember every detail of some particular day that you guys had together. Um, maybe the last time you were together, the last time you communicated with each other. There's something about the last communication you guys had that um, is really doing something to them. It's really causing this change to take place. Let me see. what. So what journey are you on right now here, Virgo? Like, What are you up to? Okay, yeah, you're all about having some new passionate beginnings and planting seeds of growth in August. This is what's all, this is like, oh gosh, three pentacles. So you might be learning things about yourself, um, what areas you need to have your growth. Maybe you're going to school or studying or doing some self-help or um, counseling or therapy or doing something along those lines. Kind of like you're in this place of like, okay, well, how do I make my life better? How do I have this growth? How do I have these improvements? What kind of soil do I need to plant these seeds in, you know, so that I will be fruitful? So you're definitely on this learning journey as well right now. And that's good for you because I feel like when you improve yourself, everyone else around you improves. But you also are learning to put your boundaries in place as well with the Seven of Wands. Um, I feel like you might, some of you might be... Um, some of you might be putting up really hard, strict boundaries in August where you're kind of like, like they are over the top, you know? I mean, to the point where you're in, you're not in flight mode, you're in fight mode. You are not trying to have um, anyone. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your, your garden, what you're trying to grow here for yourself. Some of you are just trying to help your kids as well, or if you have a child, or you're, some of you are um, protecting a child, um, and protecting your foundation, definitely. I feel, Virgo, like you're on a really good path right now, and I feel like you should, yep, here you go, the chariot. So you're definitely in a good place where you're making movement and progress here with the chariot, and that's good, and you should keep going. You know, this is like a journey. Enjoy the journey. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Um, this is this kind of feels to me, I mean, it's action and change here, but I feel like you are just kind of like, you know, like when you get in your car and you got to like, you want to go somewhere, so you kind of set your GPS, you get your directions, you plug it into your, you know, your computer and your car or in your phone. Um, so you know like what the path is and how to get there, what the route is. I feel like you guys are kind of, like you're specifically, Virgo, just trying to like set a course for action and change in your life, which is good. Let me see. A couple more messages here. My cards are like flying everywhere. All right. Strength and courage. Amazing. Taking on that Leo energy here. Look. And the Knight of Cups, yeah, you want real love, you want someone to come in and really make a bona fide offer. And, you know, Virgo, or for you to be able to do that going forward in your life, I feel like some of you may just not be ready to get into anything with this person. You may just kind of delay it so you can do what you need to do for yourself. And if they're meant to be, they will wait. They will wait. If it's meant to be, if they're not going to wait, that's not your person. That's just someone who's, you know, <laughs> then they're full of shit. If they're, if they're like, oh, you're the one for me, I've always known it. And then if you try to like say, well, you know, I understand that and I love you, but I need to like work on myself right now. And if they're willing to let you go, um, then they're just, they're just putting you in a position to be taken by somebody else and that's you know then they're just full of it you know because if they really felt that way they will wait for you to do whatever it is that you need to do for yourself all right good news you've got some money coming into you are you going to see um, an increase in your your bank account in your balance in august what else do you need to know 
Okay, lustful, fiery spirit. Watch out for that, Virgo. Um, somebody around who's just trying to hook up. So watch out for that energy. You've got wealth, health, and abundance. So very good. Okay. Um, you might even get your lustful, fiery spirit back yourself as you're healing. Okay. Yep, some of you, you, you might have to go no contact in order to do this for a time period. Okay. No, no, no limit. Just until you are able to reset. You need that great reset with yourself so you can figure out to get that clarity of like if you want to go back with somebody, this past life person, or if you want to explore new new options. But I feel like you've got the justice card here. So I feel like there will be a cause and effect and a win-win solution. And I do feel like there's going to be some truth that comes out especially for you in regards to this person starts revealing their their truths to you like i'm talking everything not just oh you're the one for me but like why they acted the way they did why they did what they did you know um and even if they're not telling you the truth for some there is revelation here for you during this journey some of you may be reevaluating your career in august as well thinking about different ways to make money um, or trying to um, maybe go to a different job or try or maybe go on your own. There's a lot of thought process being applied to your career at this time. And also somebody is spying at you, spying on you online. So watch out. There's somebody who's watching you. Um, and if you're not online, don't think for a second you're, you're you have a fingerprint. Everybody has a fingerprint online. <laughs> whether even if you even if you've cleaned everything up I mean I don't know to what extent it's really cleaned up but there is definitely a footprint fingerprint um, online and I feel like somebody's either looking you up or searching for you or communicating with you under a different name or a different telephone number that energy is definitely going to be playing out here in August so some of you might already have a hunch you know who that is already not exactly sure, but if you go no contact or if you already are no contact with someone, they're looking for you. They're looking to see what you're doing, who you're talking to. Okay. So, well, yeah, Virgo is like, I have a new passionate start in my life. Or just creating one for yourself, which is great. I definitely feel like you're on a journey here. Yep, because you're hitting rock bottom and you're starting over spiritually mentally emotionally okay some of you are going to be getting a sweet text message from someone probably this person um, if you've blocked them you won't know about it um, some of you are going to hear from someone um, about installing some cameras or alarm systems in your home and I do feel like there's also a family celebration, birthday party, wedding engagement party of some sort coming up in August that you may be attending um, in August, which it looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Um, also, some uh, more good news about money. You know, you guys, I found like, <laughs> I hope nobody knows where I live because I have to put this in the bank. I found like $500 in a, in a box and then I found um, 300 in a tarot box, you know, that the cards come in. I don't know why it was stuffed in there. I'm like, woo! <laughs> so, you know, hey, it's August, so I'm telling you. A lot of, a lot of like, money situations coming in for you guys. New plans evolve. There's new plans coming to fruition for you. Um, you an opportunity to make some new plans in August. Um, something also that I feel like you're going to have to endure and be patient about. Things will evolve, but not right away. Okay. And also, oh, wow. This is a bit of encouragement, Virgo. Um, they're saying fight back by, by not fighting with someone. Just ignore, right? Just ignore somebody. Don't, if you fight back, if you engage with someone, then they're happy because you're engaging with them, even if it's in a negative way. Just ignore people who are trying to fight with you. Um, 
whatever kind of situation you're dealing with in August, um, you have the courage to withstand this. Okay, um, if you're going to say anything, kill them with kindness is what I'm hearing. Don't fight with anybody. It's really not worth it. Fighting is just a waste of time. Um, okay, let me get some of your Chinese signs so we could see you and this past person. Chinese sign. Okay, I've got the goat. I flipped right out there. Nothing wants to come out. Okay. Got a dragon here, a rooster, Get the dog, here is a dog, there's the goat again, double goat, you have a horse, tiger, monkey, and the ox, year of the ox. So if you don't know the Chinese sign of yourself or your person, all you have to do is Google year of birth Chinese sign and look it up. So just whatever year you were born, if you were born in like 1974, just look up 1974 Chinese sign and so forth, okay? Um, and the other person as well. And do a little bit of reading about that because it's incredibly accurate as far, especially with ca compatibility. Um, you'll be surprised to see what Chinese signs are not compatible with each other and which are. And, you know, if you've got like, I mean, you can even look for your family and your friends. It's really interesting. Okay, let's get into some other messages here for you, Virgo. Okay, you've got somebody here with very long dark hair, and wow, I'm just seeing like a, um, roses. Somebody's giving you roses or, or lilies as a gift, or you are thinking of giving them to someone. The, the roses are multicolored, but they're all pastels, so they're very beautiful. I guess they don't come in any color, do they? All pastels, very beautiful. Let me see what else. Hold on. Oh, okay, I'm also seeing somebody is um, either la Latin, from Latin America, or they're from Asia. It could be you, it could be this person. And, okay, somebody's name starts with an S. Okay, I'm also hearing the name Kate. Kate. Okay. Hmm. Um, I see somebody, okay, <laughs> please don't get offended if it's not you, that's fine. I see someone with a very big belly, <laughs> a very big belly. So like, or they wear, somebody's wearing clothing that it's tight around the waist, so it makes someone's belly protrude as well. Okay. Definitely not a set of abs. Like hard, hardcore abs. <laughs> and just remember if you guys want to get some more spicy readings, go over to my OnlyFans. If you're if you're down for the triple X spice readings every day, I upload um, a daily message there. The link is in the description box. Okay, so there's somebody who's making plans to go somewhere. They're looking at the maps, or they're trying to figure out, um, I don't know, either they're going somewhere, or they're just searching for someone, looking on maybe like Google Maps, or Google Earth, or looking at something to do with um, like geographical things. Someone's looking up geographics, looking up places, or just perusing um, Google Earth or something. I feel somebody's um, also checking out Texas right here and also looking at, um, ooh, um, okay, uh, somebody looks at weather related things like um, earthquakes and, and um, like the USGS websites that kind of stuff, looking to see where earthquakes are happening. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm hearing someone lives on King's Street or King's Way. 
King's Street or King's Way or King's something. It could be a town or a street or um, a place. King's something. Okay. And I heard the name Kara. 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 Or Carrie. Karen. Okay. Let's see what else are they giving me. And uh, somebody here needs to clean out and reorganize their um, their their bag. That's what I'm hearing. Re organize your bag or reorganize it or do something. Clean it out. Some of you need to get that uh, old perfume smelling chewing gum bits out of the bottom of your purse. <laughs> Let me see. You know, the ones that have collected all the dirt. <laughs> okay. Um, so somebody needs to start taking zinc. You know, the mineral zinc and... Um, someone is either a Jehovah's Witness or is is studying about that or is connected to that or maybe they're going to knock on your door. There's something about Jehovah's Witness, okay? And um, somebody's putting um, glitter on their nails, they just said. And... Hmm. I'm seeing like um, someone's going to a baseball game and there's going to be like fireworks at a baseball game or maybe it's football um, so when I say football I mean European or maybe it's kids sports or something there's like I'm seeing fireworks I'm mostly feeling baseball like someone hits a lot of um, fly balls or pop fly balls or something like that um, could be a kids game Okay, and um, some of you are starting new businesses. Are you going to start a new business? You'll be very successful if you're starting a new business, Virgo. I feel like if that's your situation, um, you're going to do very well with that. Okay, so I'm about to run out of battery, so I'm going to speed right through this last part. Just going to do this once. Okay, you have Aries, Cancer, Pisces, and Virgo, okay? So that could be you, it could be another person, it could be your sun, moon, rising, not your sun, your moon, rising, or Venus, um, or it could be your sun if you're a cross-watcher. Okay, so September birthdays, we have... Um, September 4th, 5th, 9th, 10th, and 11th also have August 30th someone is 54 someone is 59 someone is 30 um, you also have 10 10 10 so that's the 111 very significant someone's 49 and 45 let me just do one more roll for these numbers phone numbers and zips okay and we also have September 1st. All right, 618, uh, 902, 410, and someone is 51. Okay. And we'll get your charms, and then we'll be done. Okay. Wow, you guys. The fairy is back again. The nefarious fairy is back again. Okay, this Tinkerbell, uh, connection to Tinkerbell, or the, uh, the word, or the name, or the move, something with a movie, Tinkerbell, definitely. And for some of you, oh geez, I just, you can't, like, with this. For some of you, uh, this, this, uh, something to do with aliens. Someone's interested in aliens and UFOs, or aliens with wings. I don't know what that's about, okay, but... Um, definitely some alien energy um, angels demons things like that and we also have a leaf here so there's some kind of connection to a plant or plants or maybe weed or someone smoking or doing maybe there's a business starting um, selling CBD or weed or something like that I'm gonna do one more 
Maybe you're going to smoke it or you are smoking that right now. Okay. So you have, I want to ride my bicycle. All right, a bike. You could be riding your bike. Maybe you lost your license or someone did. Um, they ride a bike everywhere. Um, also, just could be exercising on a bike, using an exercise bicycle. Um, or someone lives in a city and they're a messenger on a bike. This could also be a motorcycle, but it doesn't really look like it. It looks more like a, there could be someone who rides a bike like marathons. Um, or rides like some kind of race as well. All right, pretty cool. I like it. I like it, Virgo. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoy that. And tomorrow I'll be back with your weekend reading. And uh, yeah, have a great week, you guys. A great evening. And don't forget, you can join my OnlyFans or if you want to get a personal reading, everything you need is in one link below the video. Just click on there and that'll take you all different routes to where you um, can join and get a reading and do all that great stuff. Okay, so love you guys. Make good choices. Be happy. Love yourselves. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye.